Okay, now we're gonna move on to the ankle. Again, very, very uh, similar to the foot, except this time um, the leg is flat instead of the, uh, the plantar surface of the foot. For an ankle, you essentially just need the ankle joint. So, and a little above, a little bit below. Um, I like to include the heel on mine. So, when I'm doing that, bring your foot straight up for me. Real important thing to do is to have the patient dorsiflex their toes. Pull your toes up towards your head. It can be a little uncomfortable, especially if they're hurt. And then you want to make sure the leg is straight up and down and not, uh, because some people's feet lay like that. So you want them straight up and down. You want to center mid ankle joint, which is basically right between the malleoli. You want to cone in left to right a little bit, top to bottom slightly. Again, like I said, I like to include the heel here. So like this, cone in, and then I mark laterally. So the AP ankle is pretty simple, not a lot to it. Um, again, you're centered right in the middle here. I know it's hard to see from this angle, but that's the AP. Then you do an oblique. Now your text is gonna talk about two different types of obliques. One's just your 45 degree medial oblique, the other's called your mortise, and so our mortise, however they say it. Um, you'll hear it different ways. We typically do the mortise because it shows the uh, tibiotalar articulation really well. So you dorsiflex again, and then roll in 15 to 20 degrees. Typically, what that's gonna leave you with is when you center on the joint, your crosshair is going to go straight through the pinky toe and through the joint. And that's kind of how you, that, that's a pretty good gauge for 15 to 20 degrees on most people. So you dorsiflex, roll in, mark, and just kind of make sure you're nice and centered where you need to be. Cone in again. I like to include the heel, like I said. Not a big change from the AP to the mortise, but that's about it. So, just like that, make sure your marker's in the light, though. Beep. All right, now for the lateral ankle, your goal is to superimpose the medial and the lateral malleoli. Now, it's a medial lateral projection, which means you lay the lateral side down. So, I'm gonna have you roll your foot all the way out towards me, just like so. All right, and again, you'll probably guess we have to dorsiflex the toes. So pull your toes up, just like that. Um, also, again, this is at 40 inches, so just remember that. They basically are all at 40 inches unless I tell you otherwise. So here, again, like with the foot, if the foot's all the way on its side, you're over-rotated, the malleoli are not superimposed. So you raise the foot slightly, pull the toes up, and you can feel the malleoli and when they're on top of each other. So you just kind of roll them like that, get it right, pull the toes up. Don't clip the heel, center up on the medial malleoli, beep. There you go, that's your ankle series.